go to the funeral? Yeah. Man, you give me all of my feelings, man. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, the whole world was shocked. You know, I mean, obviously people didn't take it as hard as you did. But... Uh, yeah, I, I went to the funeral, man. Yeah. Uh, I ain't been to a funeral in about, what, like 15 years. You know how many homies that that, that died that I know. You, you just skip those. Yeah, I don't, I don't go to funerals, just like. Yeah. Twenty one years old. I mean, you're what twenty six now. Yeah. I'm forty seven. Uh, the amount of good times and memories. That, that he missed out on is really just sad. But he didn't have any kids, right? He didn't have no, well, no. Well, well, I guess there was a story that his girlfriend was pregnant. No, no, that's not true. I think she was trying to get pregnant. She was trying to get pregnant. But yeah, the crazy, the craziest part though is um, like right before that, he was um, he had pulled me to the side. He like, man. Cause you know, when stuff started moving, moving, boom, I got juice. You know, I got I hired one of my um people from Chicago to do the road manager. His name Pete. I got juice, Pete, juice cousin, juice girl, like to a juice friend that work for, like that was working. So it's all of them going everywhere, and I'm in LA, you know, taking meetings, you know, trying to you know see what I could do to. to make it bigger, you know, taking meetings. And so I ain't used to go to all the shows. So Juice like, Juice pulled me to the side. He like, man, he like, man, um, he said, man, I miss how stuff used to be, man, in the beginning. He said, you gotta start coming. I mean, do you ever feel like if you had spent more time with him, that, you know, instead of getting other people there, if you were like his, this day-to-day -day guy that this wouldn't happen? I do feel like that. Yeah. 